Hi everybody, welcome back to another episode of my Dungeon Boss Challenge Mode series. This is Chapter 5, Dungeon Number 5. We are at the halfway point, so halfway to Cancun. This is Shogunat Fortress, which I am very familiar with. The uh, Waylay of the Samurai is a quest that comes up all the time to kill Samurai in Challenge Mode, so I see this one a lot. Shogunat Fortress has a bunch of Samurai, basically, so anytime you need to do armored heroes or armored enemies as far as a dungeon or event quest um, also very popular out here um, also this is sort of a rainbow uh, dungeon as far as uh, the boss room goes so it doesn't really matter what kind of a team we pick we're gonna have some sort of a disadvantage so I'm gonna keep with my basic power team um, the only downside to this one is um, grognock probably won't do a ton of damage because uh, of the armored uh, it's obviously going to be great for Ponty, but we have to save him for the boss room. Uh, it's a little bit longer of a dungeon. It's certainly not a little three-room one, so it uh, takes us a little bit longer, which just means that we can use uh, um, our skills, really. Um, because of the armor, they're going to take less damage, so I feel like no matter what we do, Grognog might be back up uh, by the time we get to the final room, uh, because I do want to save those uh, skills, at least uh, as far as Ponty goes. And, uh, and also just doing this in regular attacks, um, it'll give Ponty a chance to charge up his Gravedigger. So it'll give us a, a high-powered attack to, uh, to deal with here. So I'm pretty impressed with uh, Grognog's ability there to whittle that guy down, even though he was armored. Um, it's looking like he's actually not going to have his skill back up, because these guys are actually a lot easier than I gave them credit for. I expected them to be a little bit tougher. But uh, I guess in the grand scheme of things, I should have realized that they're basically just uh, clones of Samurai Takume. And anybody who's familiar with the worst heroes in the game, Samurai tops that uh, list quite frequently. I have him as uh, at least top three for worst heroes in the game. I don't have a definitive worst hero in the game, but uh, uh, if I had to pick one off the top of my head, I would definitely nominate uh, Samurai Takume. He's uh, pretty awful needs a major major rework and some team synergies in order for him to be uh, basically worth anything. I thought about uh, running him with uh, some really sweet runes but I uh, haven't pulled the trigger on that. And if anybody is actually watching this video I will give you a hint that one of my live streams is going to involve Samurai Takume very heavily. In fact I'm gonna do uh, PvP raids every single one of them with Samurai on my team. Now obviously he's just gonna be weighing the team down uh, and I can still use my big hitters like Shade and Shadow Blade and Koros and um, Viperia. But uh, having a Samurai out there is going to be kind of just a fun little twist on it and give me something to talk about during our live stream. So, if you are one who's waiting around for a live stream, um, I will have one coming up uh, fairly soon. I'm trying to stick to about once a month for live streams. And since the first one didn't go as well as I thought, um, I didn't want to rush it too much. Anyways, enough of my rambling. You did see that uh, Ponty bit the dust there, which was kind of unfortunate. Uh, they kind of picked on him a little bit. The best thing about Samurai, actually, is that uh, that second ascension. I don't know if you saw him before I killed him, um, but the outfit is just phenomenal. It's probably one of the best basic uh, upgraded uh, um, character models there are, short of uh, having a skin. I think the, uh, the second ascension on Samurai Takumi is just awesome. Uh, it, it really sucks that he's such a terrible hero, though. Anyways, we just passed the halfway point as far as getting to Cancun, so we'll be at Dungeon 6 uh, coming up next. Thank you so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. If you like this video, please show your continued support by hitting that like button, and be sure to check out both my YouTube channels for new content all the time. And always remember, peace is a lie, there's only passion. We'll see you next time.